we're starting. We're starting. We're live. We're live. We live up in here. Are, are we recording on this? I am. Mr. Iwata? Mr. Iwata? Mr. Iwata? Oh, wow. Uh, yes, we're ready to start <laughs> filming the Nintendo Digital Event for E3 2015. <laughs> okay. I'm lagging. I'm on, I'm on Twitch. That's Directly. what it is. I have all these people the making Directly. Satoru Iwata. <laughs> Watching the Sam? Yes. Hello, YouTube. I'm here with Sam. Are you ready for the I know. Why does Mr. Iwata look so weird? Nintendo 62. Did they hire the Muppets for this? Nintendo 63. <laughs> Nintendo 64. <laughs> My puppet body is ready. My puppet body is ready. Reggie. Reggie Fisame. This is awesome. <laughs> Them cheeks, though. I think I'm take. Did he just? Does he have like a blue screen now? Is this gonna I be Bill? Like... No, it's not. It's Minimoto. Me, me, Crap! I'm I'm behind. It's not letting me. I'm here. I'm not caught up. Wait, where are you right now? They just opened Miyamoto's door. They just opened it. Yeah. Now, they're, now all three of them are walking through the hallway right now. Stage entrance. Are you there yet? Uh, I'm on the. They're walking down the hallway. Okay, I'm ahead of you, I guess. Oh, guys, all my reactions gonna be a little bit delayed. Yeah. I just have to remember my words. Miyamoto looks freaking creepy. <laughs> freaking. He, he really does. Oh, this is gonna be the Star Fox reveal trailer? <gasps> oh my god, it is! Is the oh. entire episode, is the entire thing just gonna be him? It's, it's the Star Fox reveal trailer, Sam. I know. He coughed up feathers. Oh my god. <laughs> it's happening! Yes! Yes! Reggie is the best one. Yes! <laughs> this is freaking glorious. The cameraman. Sakurai, amazing. please nerf. Sakurai, please nerf. Fox and Falco OP for Smash. Hey, Fox! Do a barrel roll! Yeah, do a barrel roll! Do a barrel roll! Yeah. I roll. I can do better than that. Check this out. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <gasps> Entering Cornaria's orbit. Here she said it. <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> Sam, you're not there yet, but this is freaking this looks glorious. World premiere. Uh, oh man, that looks amazing. This looks beautiful. Is this the trailer? Dude, this looks amazing. Oh my god. This is beautiful. I don't even, I don't Star even Wolf? know Star Fox, but this looks awesome. Dude, you're gonna want to play Star Fox, bro. It's a great series. Oh, this is this looks magnificent. <gasps> they Dude, brought it. Beautiful. They what brought the land rock the landwalker thingy, whatever it's called. Oh my god. I'm I'm I s I am i am hate being behind. I don't know I'm why you're like behind. Five seconds, so you're seeing everything just before me. And you're talking about it. I'm like, what are you talking about? And then I'm like, oh. <laughs> this looks so glorious. It really does. I don't have a Wii U though. Oh my god. They have so many new transfer like vehicles too. Switching to all range Dude. Mode. Let's take the offensive. Let's take the offensive. I might just buy a Wii U. No barrel roll. No barrel roll. I'm very tempted to buy a Wii U. This looks amazing. Star Fox Zero? That, that's what it's called? Oh my god. And Ezra's crying in the background. Sorry about that if you can hear it. Hey, they're, they're, they figured out that everybody likes the barrel rolls. They finally figured it out. Hold on. Because of that, I felt that I was always protected. As if it's my guardian angel. story. When I was a child, there was a TV show about fighter planes called Thunderbirds. That inspired me to make a game that had cinematic elements. 
This is so beautiful. Each character having a distinct personality and their own drama. That would be reflected in the dialogue and appear in scenes like where a cool character and enemies would appear. I'm here for a job, of course. And looks like I get to have a little fun. When it came to talking about details, Dude, this game looks amazing. Mm -hmm. characters look and feel. Oh my god, why is Ezra crying right now? Types of people. But ever since I was in school, I drew comics with caricaturized humanoid animals. I'm oh, sorry, guys. I decided that the characters in this game should that. be based off animals. I then talked about it with Emma Morrison, the designer, and we thought about the fox image. Then I thought, let's try making a fox the main character. We're entering Corneria City now. When there's an arch, you want to go over, right? That's the kind of game I wanted to make. Thinking about the shrine, this place is known for the row of arches. So we went with this idea to create a game where you would fly through different arches. Star Fox is a game where you use a control stick like the one you'd find on a plane. When you fly a real plane, you need to pull back on the control stick to fly up, right? Similarly, you can use the gyro on the game pad to look all around and feel really immersed in the game. We'd like people to play as if they are flying a real plane. It's really exciting. Dang. For Wii U, with its two screens, we That's experimented cool. with gameplay with ideas before this iteration of Star Fox. There were two screens that each serves a specific purpose. For example, we tested that. That cool. using one this looks great. for a more cinematic view and the other for gameplay. The Wii U gamepad has a gyro, and it's a big reason we decided to make this game. It's a cockpit view. All right, I'm gonna so refresh like my page so you can pop like up. This. You can aim by moving the gamepad around. I might mess it up. In the other Star Fox games, you play by controlling your plane in third person on one screen. This time, the game will okay, what did he be just say? on the TV, and you can focus in to aim on the gamepad. Focus in to aim on the gamepad. On two screens, you can see yourself All flying right. in third person on the TV while shooting down at the enemies Ooh. below you from the cockpit view on the gamepad. Oh my God! Be really immersed in the experience, so that's something I hope people. So beauteous, freaking slippy, get out of here. The two screen, the two screen thing is pretty cool. You had to use a lot of buttons, but now with the Wii U gamepad. You can use two sticks to do things like I think I'm up caught and up. flip around. He just barrel he just did a U-turn over There's only Star one button to fire all the different weapons. So there are four buttons left, and with that we thought why not use these buttons to make the R Wing transform? Yeah, never mind. You can make the R Wing freaking transform? Let's use one button to do flips and the other for a U-turn. Ah R Wing transforming into a walker. That was in Star Fox 2. But since that game didn't make it out, I'm glad we were able to have it appear. I read something about that. Star Fox 2. mechanic actually looks like it makes a lot of sense. There's the Landmaster. Landmaster? Okay. And also the Gyro Wing. Gyro Wing? That's look, that looks freaking awesome. Breadth to gameplay. With it, you can perform a lot of tasks as Fox. You can also play different stages with other vehicles too. So I hope you have fun trying cool. out courses with different vehicles even after you clear the game. You just got to the gyro wing. We've rebuilt the game using ideas from the past. Uh, there's some stages with other part vehicles, but not. Part five. It's not a remake either. They're showing so the boss fight thing. Star Fox Zero. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm still past you, I guess. The subtitle Zero was taken from how the kanji character looks in calligraphy. Star Fox is based off of the Japanese culture that inspired me, so I wanted people around the world to see this cool kanji character in the logo. When I saw it, it reminded me of a fox tail. We oh my god. The with a brush and added the logo. It Can you hear Ezra? Nope. Okay, good. Because I can. It's really annoying. Hi, and welcome to the Reggie! digital event for E3 2015. I don't know where Reggie is. I'm Reggie Fisame, Star Fox Heroes. Amazing. 
We began Pikmin, today having a little fun imagining ourselves as characters no. No, those in are the Star Fox universe. But that opening was more than just fun. It also represents a theme you're going to encounter consistently throughout Nintendo's experience for E3. Are they dubbing his voice or is he actually speaking English? He's English. He's English. He's American. Several announcements the how the lips, Nintendo itself the is being transformed. Movements are off. With expansion to universal theme parks, mobile devices, and our new dedicated game platform, codename NX, which we'll tell you more about in 2016. The NX, Today, yeah. Our purpose is more immediate to focus on the transformations you'll be enjoying right inside your Nintendo gameplay in the coming months. If there's a secret to the longevity of Nintendo franchises, it is transformation. Hold on, I'll be right back. Ah. There always has to be something new. See you guys, Caden sucks at this. And that even applies Caden to the game be a Super Mario Bros. Which is celebrating its 30th anniversary in 2015. To say he's been transformed over the years is obvious. Nope. Along the way, he's also transformed gaming. Ugh. From establishing the platforming genre on the NES to the 3D Mario. world of Super Mario 64. Later this year, Super Mario Maker will take the next step by turning the essence of game creation over to you, our fans. Super Mario Maker, yeah. Now, players will become creators as you build your own Mario levels that can be shared globally with friends. And who it looks knows, so good, though. Maybe even I'll be playing, and of course beating your latest Holy creation. Holy crap. Finally. <laughs> Nothing in our history has I was like looking at the Mario Maker thing and like just Amiibo. Amiibo, hold on. Find out this week. There are more new Amiibo on the way, and more games for them to inhabit. In fact, right now, let's see how Amiibo are about to show up in a totally unexpected way. Uh oh. Okay, oh, guess what? You have no money to buy Amiibos. Yeah, I do. So at this year's Do you have an Amiibo event, smash? the Amiibo team smash. put me right to work. So I'm pleased to be here with Karthik Bala from the Vicarious Vision Studio at Activision. You have an Amiibo and stash. Got some great at four. Hold on. Yeah, so you know the hallmark of the Skylanders franchise has always been deliver brand new innovation and the highest quality game experience. For the first time, we're bringing a whole new toy category to life. We're bringing vehicles to life this year with our new game, Skylanders Superchargers and really blending it to this epic vehicle adventure. But there's more to it, right? We've got two unexpected guest stars. So introducing turbocharged Donkey Kong and his vehicle, the Barrel Blaster. Oh my God. We also have They're, Bowser uh, versus Hammer Slam Bowser. And dude. And his vehicle, the Clown Cruiser. Bowser is always oh my, my gosh. favorite. I don't know why people say that I look like Bowser and at times act like Bowser. They're putting Donkey Kong in. And Bowser. Figures as you and have the, the various vehicles. What happens? So they have complete move sets and upgrade trees. Uh, Holy of, crap. Of powers and abilities, some of which are natural, things that you would expect, like Donkey Kong throwing barrels and Bowser slamming down his hammer, but also really unexpected moves that harken back to elements of lore within the 30 years of history of these characters. What else can, uh, can these figures do? If you put the figure on a Skylander's portal, they act as a Skylander, but you can twist the base and switch it to Amiibo, and it can be used as an Amiibo in another Nintendo game. So again, these characters, oh, dude. Are these vehicles, only playable on Nintendo. It's a Skylander amiibo. It can be used in Skylanders and uh, as an amiibo. So, as you go oh, through man, this that's... collaboration with Nintendo, Holy. a company that is very protective of its franchises, that always likes to have total control, what was that like in terms of working with us to bring these fabulous experiences? Well, does my OBS go doing it right now? Big, like, Nintendo fanboys. Okay, it is. And, you know, I think we Bigature. may have been a little too cautious at first. We wanted to have a form of Bowser where he became really big and... 
you know, we pitched the idea of using Giga Bowser, and, they, and, uh, and this is when the Nintendo team said, no, 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 do something different, you know, something new. And we created Magma Bowser, right. you know, who's never been seen before, and, you know, this, his, his fire breath just becomes this insane flamethrower. We, we wanted to uh, set the Koopa on fire, and, uh, and they said, use dry bones. Right. And so, like, dry bones, and they, they said, well, here's all the material for dry bones, and it was just, you know, building on top of that, and uh, we just didn't, you know, we didn't think that we were going to get away with all of this stuff. Karthik, thank you so much for sharing this information. And throughout the entire week, we're going to be sharing more and more information. You and your team are going to grace us at Nintendo Treehouse Live, and there's going to be a lot more information to share. I'm super excited. Fantastic. Thank you. Dude. Mm. Skylanders oh, Amiibos. Nice. Are they just gonna have like the entire Smash Bros. cast as amiibos? No. Like me using Skylanders. What the heck? <laughs> Getting turned up over here. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh my gosh, Reggie. <laughs> what? I still think Miyamoto looks freaking creepy. What? 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 I believe we're talking about Mario turning into Zelda. No. The link, right? Shush. <gasps> New Zelda game. <laughs> oh, are, it's on multiplayer? <laughs> Caden, Caden, be calm. <laughs> oh my god. I know, I know we're all bu I know we're both buying this. We gotta get Eric on this. <laughs> yes, we do. Oh my glob. Please tell me this is online and not you have to be by yourself. Better be. You have to be like right beside each other. I'm gonna be sad. <gasps> they have armor? The Legend of Zelda 3 Swords Adventure? No, it's Twilight Heroes or Triforce Heroes. No, I'm kidding. I was kidding. It was a joke. They're using like the same engine for A Link Between Worlds. <gasps> And show each boss who's boss. <laughs> Holy crap! I want this game so bad. Sam, can I has it, please? Hayden, we need to like buy this. Mom, get the camera. <laughs> I want this game so bad. Oh, it's 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 Three Swords Adventure. That's what it is. Try Try Force Heroes. Oh my goodness gracious -ish. Oh my gosh, you whenever they defeat the boss, the little like pom pom thing. Yeah. Just... Developer story. I think this is Anuma. An Anuma. I want it. We're buying this, Caden. My dude Aiji Anuma. The producer of Zelda. Today, dude, we're buying like this to whenever it comes out. It comes out soon. Alright. The latest okay. Nintendo 3DS Zelda game. I have the oh, this director, Zelda. Shikata, here to introduce it with me. Hello. I wanted to focus on multiplayer and the music though. Multiplayer in past Zelda games was more competitive, much like a party game. Everyone would gather to play to see who would get the most rupees. This time, I wanted players to cooperatively enjoy more serious Legend of Zelda gameplay elements, like solving puzzles and going through dungeons. The 3D visuals of A Link Between Worlds was a great feature. Yeah, A Link Between Worlds. Especially I noticed in terms that. Of depth. So I wanted to incorporate that into the multiplayer. So that's why we came up with the totem mechanic. Yeah. <laughs> Co -op stacks on stacks on stacks. With the totem mechanic. You can carry your friends on your shoulders and reach higher places. A four-player totem was too tall. So this is just the link to Link so Between Worlds, like multiplayer mechanics, like the same engine. Pretty much. So they were going to do four players, but they decided on three. Okay, hold on. There are supporting doll-like characters. There are two of them, and you can beat a level by switching between Link and these two dolls. The story starts in a kingdom that is just full of fashion-savvy people. <laughs> then, we find out something has happened. So the king is looking for a hero who could help. 
So different players are each claiming to be the hero. And so it begins. <coughs> wow. Using items to defeat enemies and conquering dungeons is a familiar staple from other Zelda games. So it should appeal to fans of the series. This time, there's also a fashion element where you collect items to create new outfits with new abilities. They're all Toon Link, too. buying and equipping these different clothes, your abilities change. So the same courses will offer different experiences depending on what you wear. Oh my gosh, Zelda Link in a Zelda dress. Uh huh. I think playing with people in online multiplayer where you can't see their reactions is fun, too. I hope people invite others to try out the game with them as well. Is it online? Is that what he said? Shh. Yep, he said online. When yes! Multiplayer, okay. We frequently hear Mr. Onuma yelling excitedly about the yes. game. Yes! Caden, this game is being bought as soon as, as, soon as possible. I have the loudest yes. voice on the team. Hello, hello, well. Whoa, that was a new item. Also for Nintendo 3DS, we have another new game. Last huh? year, we had the Wii U version of Hyrule Warriors. Oh yeah. They're gonna do th Hyrule Warriors 3D. 3DS version. Yep. This game is a reimagining of the Wii U game. We already talked about that. All yeah. The DLC characters from that one. We are also adding additional characters and stages from The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker, to expand the gameplay. Is it just for the new 3DS, or...? No. Warriors is not like awesome. the Zelda games I create. It is an experience only Koi Tecmo can really bring to life. Hyrule Warriors Legends? What? I hope you will enjoy Hyrule Warriors Legends as well as The Legend of Zelda Triforce Heroes on Nintendo 3DS. Two Dang. new games coming out. Hyrule Warriors Legends is the name of it, not Hyrule Warriors 3D. That's weird. This is the second trailer for it? Is this, that what this is? Yeah, okay. Oh, this is the official trailer that was leaked a few weeks, like about a week ago. We already seen this, okay, though. There's too many games coming out. So we got Star Fox, we got Zelda Triforce Heroes, we got Hyrule Warriors. <laughs> Sam, Warriors first, all right. Sam, right. we're on this. I'm not. I'm not gonna be able to afford everything. I can't afford everything, but I don't want to spend all my money on everything because I have to buy a computer. <laughs> Over time, take time. You already seen this trailer was leaked about a few, a few weeks, about a week ago. Yeah. About a week ago. Dude, I'm I'm Tetra. Triforce Heroes game is amazing. It <laughs> they they wanted to do four players, but like they couldn't fit them. It makes more sense with three though. This is Triforce, yeah. So it's it's basically Zelda Three Swords Adventures. <laughs> Tetra looks amazing. I like the way they went with her art design. Yeah. Three Swords Adventures though. Hyrule Warriors Legends is what it's called apparently. And it has all the DLC characters from the Wii U. All, all we saw was uh, Tingle, though. Well, Just... he literally said that it has all the DLC. Oh. And it... I mean... <laughs> First quarter of next year. Hold on. Oh, thank Shush. god. It, I have like a... And she looks so adorable with me. Iwata? Hey. I hate being five seconds behind you. What is this? What? Halo 3DS? What? <gasps> is this actually <gasps> Halo 3DS? <gasps> what? What's going on? What are you freaking out about? <gasps> oh. Oh, that. Oh. <laughs> this is just the basic. This is like the demo version, right? Like, this is not the full version, right? It's, it kind of looks like crap. Are you are you fangirling about the 3D or about the Metroid Prime? <laughs> Dude, 
let this this is what? Marth? What? Caden, you're like five seconds what? ahead of me. I'm getting really confused. I'm, I'm sorry, Sam, I'm sorry. But dude, fire emblem if. Hold on, shush. Oh. Mario just turned into Marth. That's English! Fire Emblem Fates? <gasps> is this gonna be on the Wii U? 3DS. It's in English! My child now. Oh my god. <gasps> now, once and for all, oh my god! To the death. That one guy looked like Gajil. Okay, and that one dude more like guys they got shot with arrows. Don't look at me. Oh my god. There is only one punishment. The sentence is death. That looks really good. Oh my god. Super Saiyan. Fire emblem fates. Oh my god. I'm crying right now. Kill me if you want. But do it as yourself. Oh my god. God. I'm crying They're right Gajils now. And, Gajils and Fire Emblem. It's in English. Oh, Shibikomi Tensei. X Fire Emblem. Ooh. Seriously, Gajils and Fire Emblem there. I saw Gajil. Hey. What hey. is this? Hey, Shibikomi Tensei X Fire Emblem. Crossover. This looks I great. Know what that is. <laughs> oh, this is that game we were looking at earlier that made no sense to us. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this game, like, was getting in trouble the other day. Hold on. I saw Gajin Guba talking about this. No, hold on. They're saying it was getting in trouble for over-sexualization. If this is what I'm thinking of. I'm using heroes guided by destiny. This looks cool, I guess. I think this is what Gajin Guba was talking about. It got in trouble for, like, over-sexualization. No. It Owie! Crom? Stop spoiling things for me. Sorry. Oribe. Tsubasa. Sorry, Sam. Keida? Kaida. Kane? Kane? <gasps> Wait, no. Where are you seeing Kane? Never mind. No, that, that, no not. That's Kane, not Sane. Sorry. Things. My bad. So I'm sorry, Sam. <laughs> Is that Tiki? It's Tiki! Dude! Looks okay, I guess. I don't really. Should we go on Tensei X Fire Emblem? Dude, yes. I don't I'm probably not gonna buy it, but it looks pretty cool. Okay, we got another Muppets thing. Okay, hey, be quiet. But is it gonna be DK? Donkey Donkey Kong? Bananas? Donkey Donkey? Chicken Night? Zimbabwe Chronicles X? I think it's gonna be Donkey Kong, there's bananas. Mon no it's Zimbabwe Chronicles X. Oh, why are there bananas? I don't know. <laughs> this game I'm getting this game. Bored. I think they were just really bored when they had that. Yeah, probably. Earth has been destroyed. I'm getting this freaking game though. Is my computer okay? Yeah, I don't hear anything. Alright, good. Dude! Mankind faces a new challenge. <laughs> oh my god. This is a different. This is not even Xenoblade Chronicles, like the one on the Wii. This is like completely different. They're not. They're not supposed to be the same. It's a different game. Okay. I thought it was remastered. No. Cool. Oh, it looks so beautiful. The combat system too. It looks too? really good. It looks really good. It's time to suit up. <gasps> this music. <laughs> this is my favorite Dude, song. Dude, look at a freaking Apatosaurus. What the crap? Dun, bum, 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 Man, that one guy. That guy has a lightsaber. Guys, on Caden's channel, I'm sorry, I'm slightly behind Caden. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> but there was a guy with a lightsaber. 
Lightsaber Katana. Xenoblade Chronicles X. <gasps> December 4th this year. Oh my god. Let's Damn, there's go. so many good games coming out. Who is that? Isabel? Animal Crossing? Happy Home Designer? Oh god. <laughs> I don't care about Animal Crossing. I don't like Animal Crossing. Okay. I never understood Animal Crossing. This is happy. This is the Happy Home Designer. I like the way they're transitioning with the question, it, mark, it, question mark mushroom. Animal Crossing Extreme Extreme Home Makeover Home Edition. Extreme Home Makeover. Yeah, it's a TV show, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> I don't know how this is gonna do. Because it, it all, all it is. Is it just building homes? That's what I'm assuming. They haven't shown anything else of it. All you're doing is, like, arranging houses for people. Well, that's what Animal Crossing is, Caden. No, but Animal Crossing has, like, events and stuff like that. And you have to, like, live. All you're doing, all you're doing in here is just building a house. For other people. You can't, like, walk around or anything. It's just, like... You're doing... This, you're doing... Uh, this looks stupid. I'm sorry, but... You're doing commission work. That's what it is. I'm not a fan of Animal Crossing anyway. No, neither am I. I know there are people that are, but like... My girl Isabel. This just looks weird. But this, this freaking... Ah, uh, this, this... It's not over yet. It's the not even over yet. Shows. World premiere? What is this? Amazing. Oh, Animal Crossing Amiibos. Oh my god. What is this? An Animal Crossing party? <laughs> Why am I behind you? Is this Animal Crossing party? Oh my god, it's Mario Party. I think it is! <laughs> this is Animal <laughs> yeah, Crossing it's, party! It's Mario party. <laughs> KK Slider? Okay, what are, what's going on with you, like, right now? Uh, Tom Nook was placed on the gamepad. Oh, KK Slider was just placed on the gamepad. Okay. That's not, that's not too bad behind. I'm only like four seconds behind you. Yeah, about. <laughs> Freaking <laughs> Animal Crossing party. Oh my gosh, fourth wall breaking. Fourth wall breaking. Did you see that? Yeah, on, always. Um, Tom Nook's. Always in they're this playing, game. Um, they're playing that game on, on the Wii U. <laughs> It's really cute how they're handling the events instead of just like, oh, you're splitting your money. This game looks nice. Looks nice. I don't. I wouldn't want it. <laughs> <laughs> Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival, also known as Animal Crossing Party. What's next? What does Mario turn to this time? Pikachu? Yoshi? Oh, Wo Woolly World. Woolly World. Yeah. Oh, you mean, uh... Kirby's Epic Yarn? Yoshi's Epic Yarn? Yoshi's Epic Yarn. Oh, Yoshi's adorable. Hold on. Emi Watanabe. Oh, I love the little yarn things. Oh, of course. And I was in charge of designing Yoshi's Woolly World with Tezuka-san. She's not talking to me. is very inspirational. He is the leader of this project. At the same time, he has the perspectives of the player. So he has both elements, the leader and the player. <laughs> okay. So this girl worked on Ep Kirby's Epic Yarn. Make some yarn Makes sense. Yoshi just um. Okay, because something happened. I had to go back. An artist, so Where are you I now? Wasn't able to make uh, Woolly World. In the actual game. Um, no. so, and the development team was really, really working hard. So I thought to myself, oh, is there anything that I can oh, do? Oh, it's just, in it some keeps repeating. I don't have to re refresh. I get one. He has both elements the leader and, and the player. Yeah, and the leader she, and the player. And I brought it back to the office. The smiles on the face of my colleagues really struck me. There was this proposal made at Nintendo saying that maybe for a game like this, um, a plushy amiibo Yarn would be more Yoshi looks adorable. Fun to have one. Plushy amiibos. As well with the vibe of the game. Plushy amigos. I fell in love with that idea. Did they just say that, or are you like Yoshi prototypes? Guessing. No. Okay, no. Yoshi himself. Plushy amiibos is what they are. 
the shape of his body transforms into different shapes. So he turns into like a propeller when you jump and he turns into a mallet when he does the ground bound. But also the world itself is in yarn and fabrics. Yeah, she is adorable. We have places in the game where you can unravel and you can also knit platforms. Okay, this is this, this is game, made by the same team made that made the well. Yeah. So when Yoshi swallows make, them, okay, they that, turn that's into that's yarn balls instead of eggs. They need to make Mario a yarn. Want the game to be fun. Yoshi's woolly world provides plenty of challenge if you try to go for 100%. Oh, you can knit. Cool. But also we wanted to have lots and lots of people enjoy the game and those lots of people have different expectations. I might get this game. The difficulty of the game. The game looks and adorable. For us, um, what's so special about Yoshi games is that the difficulty Ooh. level is all <laughs> up to the player because if you just want to have fun, you can just run through the levels. If you think you're a more advanced player, you can set the challenge a little higher. This game's not going to be difficult at all, I don't know what you're that provides plenty of challenges. I mean, it could be. We are very confident that the game provides... They even had to add in a mellow mode. That, like, it's basically the sissy mode. It gives you wings, you can fly everywhere. Why would you want that? Exactly. So I'm guessing it could be hard at some point. So you can either cooperate with your friends... So it's like Kirby's Epic Yarn difficult? I guess so. Like not all that difficult at all, but like to high areas, if you screw up, so the other Yoshi can reach that area. So you can do a little bit of a competition with your friend. You can be a little mean if you have an amiibo. Amiibo, and if okay. If you use it in Yoshi's Woolly World, then Yoshi's design turns into that amiibo character. So, for example, if you have a I love Mario, the way she says Yoshi. You can get a Yoshi. Mario Yoshi, which is a Yoshi in Yoshi, Mario yeah, in Mario design. <laughs> So, so if you have an amiibo, it's Mario Yoshi. <laughs> trying out different characters. Freaking! Oh, oh, dude, Tron Legacy up in this place. Yarn, he He's adorable. Really <laughs> so that's Mario Yoshi is adorable. In this game, <gasps> Same as Yoshi. There's an important item around you. So what? What's the name of that dog? Useful companion to have. Gucci. Even after you clear oh. the level, it's really fun to go back, revisit that level because there's always something that you missed out on. You always find something new. It would be great if you can collect all the items in one go, but that's so quite adorable. So um, I hope people can enjoy playing the same level over and over again. Most of all, I probably gonna get this game probably most likely. Yeah, I'm. 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 Like, I'm like this October 16th this year. Look, here we go, Muppet. It's Muppet out. time. It's Muppet time. Hold on. Everything everything is coming out right now. Twerk team. New game? New game? Levels 5? Level 5? Pikachu. Oh, it, this is a uh, Yokai Watch. I saw about this game. The, the little dance puppets. It's kind of adorable. My name's Whisper. Is this going to be like a Pokemon? It, it kind of looks like it, but because this little tab, they kind of uh, they kind of explain that it's not it, like they, they don't want to be looked at as Pokemon. It looks like it. Caden, that thing's name was Caden, spelled differently, but still. Okay, it's not spelled. It's not quite the same. <laughs> Definitely ain't Pokemon. Looks pretty cool though. Yeah. It looks closer to like, um, what is it? The, um, oh my gosh. Rangers? No, not Rangers. Dang it. Yo, Kai Watch. Oh, I feel so stupid. Looks Pokemon cool. Fighters. Oh, what's it turned to this time? Luigi. Luigi's Mansion? Arcade? No. What? <gasps> what? what? Two Mario Worlds collide? <gasps> oh, please tell me it's another um, Mario Dude, and Luigi series. Just look at this. Just, just watch. <gasps> it's a Mario and Luigi game. <gasps> yes. It's Mario and Luigi meets Paper Mario. <gasps> oh, Dude, awesome. that looks awesome. Oh my God. Dude, that looks awesome. Dude. DUDE! <laughs> oh my bejeebus! Really, that's like my favorite series of Mario games. 
Right? Oh my gosh! <laughs> Dude, the freaking combo attack thing they just did with the three hammers. Yeah. Oh! Look at that hammer. That was a great hammer. Mario Badminton up in this place. Whoa, that's a big hammer. Whoa. Oh, it flattens him into a freaking Papercraft paper. Mario? What is this? What is this? Give me this now! Oh my goodness! All of this looks amazing. Mario and Luigi Paper Jam? Spring 2016? Oh my god! Too many good games. Oh, oh I can't buy much Olympics. Of these, Olympics, I think. Wii U, but I, I, I can buy this one there. New Mario Tennis? Mario Paper Jam. Mario Tennis. Everyone needs a good tennis game. Heck yeah. Always. Pretty good graphics though. It's really good graphically. Oh, that's steroids. <laughs> Peach is on steroids. Oh, poor Toad. Rest in peace, Toad. <laughs> Toad and Bowser are still small. Mario Tennis Ultra Smash. Holiday 2015, the end of this year. <clears throat> Decent enough, I guess. We've been working together for 30 years. Why were Mario and Bowser on there's one team? Three Hold on. Ideas presented to both of us, we picked the same one. What is this? What is this? As the years went on, and we made more and more Oh, Mario Maker, okay. Games. Super Super Mario Maker. Create a more advanced tool to design. Why do they keep with? talking about Mario Maker? You can share levels online, bro. This became the basis of Super Mario Maker. The tool oh. got so good that the more we worked with it, the more we realized we could also turn it into something everyone could enjoy. With Super Mario Maker, any so, the, you make so do they edit, use Mario Maker to make their right make their levels? This instant feedback can really help your imagination. <laughs> Mario Maker before it was even Mario Maker. <laughs> create everything by like they actually used it <laughs> to design courses. We would actually draw them one at a time onto these sheets of graph paper. We then hand our drawings to the programmers, who would code them into a build. While digging up these old documents, we found this. It's very precious. Th they're old documents? When we first thought of the idea of Super Mario Brothers, we had a concept of land and now we can do this. Sea. Tap, tap, tap. Actually, we sketch of Mario throwing fireballs from a moving cloud. You can now do that in Super Mario Maker. You can even control where the cloud flies. That looks freaking OP. <laughs> when we needed to fix or change part of the course, it would get really messy if we tried to edit the original drawing. So we'd put this see-through paper that on top overpowered. to make edits. A lot of things might look familiar. But you can combine various elements from the different games to create entirely new stuff. Like stacking different enemies on top of each other to make a huge tower, and then putting a bullet bill on top. You can even put things we've never placed underwater. Right, there are some enemies that Yoshi. appear underwater, like Goombas. Oh, what? <laughs> one underwater in Super Mario Maker. It will swim like a small shrimp. Mario can even take on the appearance of other characters. What? Tap a compatible amiibo, like Wii Fit Trainer, and Mario can <gasps> turn into Dude. a trainer when he gets a mystery mushroom. <laughs> it's called Costume Mario. Costume Mario? Is planned. <laughs> to celebrate Super Mario's 30th anniversary, we're releasing an 8-bit amiibo. They actually have and the thing that they're showing. Mario oh. In game is oh. going to appear a bit bigger. Costume Mario. The amiibo itself is pretty big too. 8-bit so Mario like amiibo. The game. There's also a Super Mario Maker booklet. The booklet has a lot of sample courses. It's really fun just looking at them. As if this is what Mario in a high heel. Design the world of Mario in real life. Most times, I start by making still Mario course Maker. I want to play, which is usually like a two-one or two-two. Two. 
Once that's done, we try to make it a little easier. So we move on to making one one. It's always like that. I may come across as a mean person by saying this, but in 1-1, one, one, there's a Goomba, which is clearly an enemy, but there's also a super mushroom, and you might run when you first see it. You run, but there's a block above, so you can't run. So if you jump, the ceiling is low, so you usually hit it. But when you do, you grow big. It's a surprise. There are stairs, but there are gaps. But the first gap has a floor, and the second one is the one you want to avoid because it's bottomless. So it's mm -hmm. a tutorial. Logic. Sense. We put a lot of thought into those types of things. When playing a Mario game for the first time, it's a challenge to run and jump. It's cool seeing these sketches, like the new players sketches like of the, into the first original. Because they can't make the jump. But they learn from it. They usually fall into it because they can't make it. It's like game design training software. <laughs> Try it if you want to get into game design. LOL, 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 LOL. So the game doesn't seem too hype, but it seems pretty cool. <laughs> Share your levels online. Dude, just make like a level that's like Earlier I said September 11th. That it looks like it's like completely impossible. E3 is all about transformation. And while we've given you a sneak peek of some of our games coming later in 2015, I bet they're gonna start using that if they make more games. Next, Nintendo Treehouse Live at E3 begins. We'll kick off with the Treehouse Moto and fellow developers flying through Star Fox Zero. Ooh. And if you can't wait to get your hands on Super Mario Maker. The opportunity is right in front of you. On Wednesday, from 4 p.m. to 9 p.m., and Saturday from noon what is it, to 5 p.m. local time, what is it, Reggie? you can walk into any of more than 100 Best Buy stores okay. in the U.S. and Canada and experience the game for yourself firsthand. You can find the details of all of our activities this week at e3.nintendo.com. Okay, okay. To close... As anyone transforms, be it a person or a company, it's good to reflect on where you've been to help guide where you go next. Over the Amen. past 30 years, <laughs> more than a billion people around the world have played in the is it? Is it? Is the, most of that the whole event? Played as gaming's biggest star, Mario. Yeah. From the music the to over. the costumes to the characters, Super Mario isn't just Nintendo's mascot. There's a little piece of him and certainly memories of his adventures inside all of us. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's not over yet, though. Hold on. Oh my god. It ends at 12.51. So. Are they showing, like, a Mario throughout the years here? Yeah. It has definitely evolved over the years. 30th anniversary. Oh. <laughs> hey. Little girl. Hey, <laughs> uh, Ocarina. That's breaking <laughs> That's breaking it, man. <laughs> Underwater level in the pool. Oh my god. <laughs> Selfie stick. <laughs> the black dude. Yes. Dogs. <laughs> Freaking Reggie. <laughs> Muppets. 
an ice sculpture? Wow. Oh, freaking Miyamoto up in this place. Miyamoto's creepy puppet. <laughs> <laughs> Miyamoto rocking out in the guitar. <laughs> what? Join the celebration. Share your own Super Mario video. Let's Super Mario. Is that, is that like a Let's Play except it's Let's Super Mario? Now it's your turn. Dun, Visit LetSuperMario.com and help us celebrate by submitting your own Super Mario video and do it for a good cause with Nintendo making a donation to the non-profit group Operation Smile. Visit our site for details. Let's have some fun, let's support a great cause, and let's Super Mario. Caden? <laughs> I know this way past it, but, um, freaking, they had a thing there, and it was, like, a custom level, and it had, like, a big wall of the fire spinners. Uh-huh. And it made, like, a freaking huge wall. You can make Mario ride in the Koopa clown car. Really? Mm-hmm. Well, that, that was nice. That was nice. Is this a treehouse? Hello everyone, I'm Shigeru Miyamoto. Thank you for watching. I think it's over. Hold on. Wait, is, is the digital one over? Yeah, it says 51 minutes and it's 12.51 now. At least for me. Okay, so <laughs> that was that was freaking hype, Sam. Hold on. Okay, so they're they're gonna do the treehouse right now. So I guess I should end the recording right now. Should I record the the treehouse? No. It's gonna be really long. So we've introduced games like Don't. use amiibo and games like okay. Splatoon. So that's it for this video, guys. <laughs> that was freaking hype, though. <laughs> Star Fox, <laughs> Zelda, like holy crap. Bye.